Hello, my friends. We're going to put together a money-saving cheeseburger soup. This soup is delicious, and it tastes just like you just bit into a delicious, juicy cheeseburger. So, let's get it done. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind. If you want your uh, soup to come together very quickly, then you're going to need to make sure that you've done the prep work. And we've already done that. Now, I'm sure that you've done, I'm going to start by actually adding the liquids in because I'm not going to add any additional oil to it. So I'm going to put in three cups of stock. And it just so happens that I have vegetable stock. But if you have chicken stock, that's fine too. So I'm going to put in about three cups to get us started. And in fact, I think what I'll do is to go ahead and just add the box. Now, there we go. It has exactly four cups in it. So that takes care of all the liquids. And I'm going to turn this up pretty high because I want these vegetables to uh, get soft pretty quickly. I'm adding in two cups of onions. I'm going to add in two cups of carrots. those in. I've packed them in here. I did all of the prep work in advance and that really saves you a lot of time. And when you've prepped it, then you know you have what you need for the meals that are coming up. And it doesn't take long for you to bring your particular recipe together. Now, I also have potatoes and I'm going to pour off. I saved them and put them in water. So I'm going to pour that off. Now I have about three to four cups of potatoes that go into this, and we're gonna put those in. We've got all of that done. Now I also prepped my ground beef, and my ground beef has been cooked, and I added just a tad bit of water to it so that it would pick up lots of that flavor, and we're gonna add all of that flavor into our pot. Now you can see that very quickly this pot has filled up and we're going to um, let this come to a good boil and uh, I'm going to add, like I said, I'm going to add one pound of ground beef that has already been cooked and with about, I guess about a half cup of water to it just to add to the flavor. Now, if you don't mind, you could certainly go back and add a couple of chicken bouillon cubes just to add to the flavor. But, you know, at this point, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to wait until all of this has had a chance to come together. And then if I think it needs to be kicked up, I can always add some better than bouillon in. All right, so we've got our vegetables in we got the ground beef in and i'm going to let this simmer on the stove now of course i could have actually done this in a crock pot this morning but that wasn't on my task list so we've got to do it the way we're doing it now i'm going to add a fourth cup of aminos and I happen to have some coconut aminos. I'm going to add about a fourth cup. Now you know cheeseburgers have to have cheese so eventually we're going to add in the cheesy flavor but not yet. We'll do that toward the end. Once the soup really is uh, well cooked down and everything is uh, happy in here, we will definitely, definitely add in some sour cream. We're going to add in some um, American cheese because we really want to give it that good cheesy flavor. Now I'm going to put a top on this. I'm going to keep check on the liquid because, and also on the soup itself because 
I don't want this to stick. And we've got potatoes in there. And sometimes potatoes have a tendency to stick. So I'm going to put this on. I was trying to wait until it actually boiled. Once it starts to boil, I'm going to turn it down. And I'm not going to eat for probably about two to three hours or so. So because of that, I can turn this down on a nice low simmer and just let it continue to simmer. That will give all the flavors a chance to go through our mix. I'm Leona Dooley, and this is Ebony, Ivy, and Time. And if you like recipes that are healthy, money-saving, or we'll say budget-friendly, then this is a place for you to be. Now, I'm asking you that before you leave today, if you like what you saw, then join the family because we are doing these kinds of things now, all the time. I'm going to take out some of my favorites. First of all, you know, I've got to get in some extra vegetables. So I'm going to add in some uh, dehydrated vegetables. I'm also going to put in some no salt seasoning as well as house seasoning so i'm getting those out okay you have to have seasoning if you have some mis minced garlic you can certainly add that but i haven't had the dried or crystallized garlic powder that's already in my um in my mix. So I have uh, two, about two teaspoons of house seasoning, which you know is onion powder, garlic powder, and um, black pepper that's in here. Now, if you're a little sensitive to spice, you may want to only add one because the black pepper, some kind, sometimes if you have a really good black pepper, it can be just a little tricky. But I am going to add a little bit of uh, red pepper flakes, my pepperoncinos. I'm gonna put in a little pinch of that into our mix because I like that. I'm also, as I said, I'm gonna add some dehydrated vegetables and that's to kick up the nutritional value. I'm gonna put in a heaping, this is one table, one teaspoon actually, and I'm going to put in two of the dehydrated vegetables because I want those to be in the background. Because after all, okay, yes, I love the, the cheeseburger soup, but I also want this to be extremely healthy. So we're adding in the dehydrated vegetables. Okay. Now, you know, in order for the potatoes to cook, it's going to have to boil. And for this particular dish, we're going to need some no salt seasoning. That's where we're starting. We aren't going to put any salt in yet. We will, because of the potatoes, we're going to need some salt. All right, I'm putting in no salt. And I've got one, two of the no salt seasonings, two teaspoons, because this is a good size pot. So... Let me put the top on that. The vegetables are done. And as of this moment, like I said, we're going to put the top on it and let it start to cook down. And that's going to speed up the process of it coming to a boil as well. So let me get that top. This is not the actual top, but we're going to use, yes it is, that's the right top. Yay! All right, so we're going to let this come to a boil. And uh, yes, I talked to my pots and my top, so I'm just saying, don't hate. So uh, anyway, this is a beautiful Cuisinart set with the top, and it has gold trim, and uh, it really does cook very well. It's a very nice Dutch oven to be able to work with. So if you're on, if you're shopping, then Cuisinart is a, is a great price, and they do an excellent job of putting their cookware together, and it's available on Amazon. So 
If you're looking for it, I'll put the link down below. Now, while we're waiting for our soup to come together, you can see that it's nice and bubbly here, but it's not ready yet. I even tasted it, and you know what? The carrots are imparting a little bit of sweetness, and at this point, I'm going to add in my favorite ingredient and something that I always add to my, che to my cheeseburger is ketchup. So I'm going to put in a couple of uh, tablespoons of ketchup, and that's your choice. If you're not a ketchup person, you can certainly leave that out. Now, there are some things that we're going to be adding toward the end, only because we do not want them to cook the full time. That's going to be things like, I'm going to need a cup of milk. I'm going to need some cubed American cheese, which I have ready to go. And I'm also going to add a little bit of flour, because I want this to be uh, definitely creamy, but definitely kind of have a smooth, creamy texture to it. So I think at this point, the liquids are at a good point. I may add just a little bit, but we are doing very well. I have not added any salt. Now my ketchup had just a little bit of trace amount of salt. I know the American cheese has salt. So that's the reason why I'm not adding any, and I will taste that toward the end. When I'm ready to add in the, the thickener and the milk to it, and you know, we don't want to add the milk early because we don't want it to break and separate. So we're going to let this continue to boil, and it's been going about hmm, 30 to 40 minutes, so it still has quite a bit of time. Top on and ready to go. Now. Our mixture has bubbled now for about an hour. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to start to add the uh, milk in and the flour in as well. And I'm going to uh, get a cup. We're going to put the fourth cup of flour in. We're going to mix it with some of this hot liquid first. And then we'll put it in. I'm going to get a good scoop of this liquid, a couple of them maybe, and uh, oh yeah, I think that'll work. I'm going to start to add in my fourth cup of flour, and we're going to get this mixed up, get a spoon, And we're going to mix this up. I really wish you were right here because you would be able to smell how delicious this soup is. And I'm just going to stir for a while just to make sure it's uh, not, this is a little bit of thickening. Okay, I'm going to get my colander and we'll be ready to go. I thought I had my camera on and I didn't. I added a pound of American cheese cubes as well as a cup of milk and a fourth cup of thickening. I, I'm using flour and so all of this has gotten very creamy. So I'm putting it on low. And I'm going to let it go until dinner time. Now just think, this cheeseburger soup is the ultimate comfort food. It's creamy. You have blended all of your favorite burger flavors into a warm bowl of goodness. It was just a matter of, of throwing your ingredients into your either your Dutch oven or into your crock pot either and let it simmer. And then when you're ready to enjoy a rich, creamy cup of soup, mm, 
It's going to be delicious and your family's going to love it. So I hope you have certainly enjoyed being right here in the kitchen. And you see, it didn't take us long at all. It was just a matter of putting all the ingredients in and letting them cook. I love it. It tastes just like a hamburger. And I do believe when I eat it with my piece of bread that it's really going to have that true cheeseburger taste. Mmm. Cheeseburger on a bun. hope you know that you are always welcome to the kitchen of ebony ivy and time and i hope you know that i'm expecting you to be right here at the table when dinner is served so come back because this is where we're cooking it up and enjoying the time with our family around our dinner table <music>